Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the security threats. Let's see the different types of security threat. In the previous video, I explained about what exactly the security threat that is the introduction part of the security threat. Now in this video, I want to give uh, what are the different, I want to explain a uh, different types of security threats. The different types of security threats are Trojan horses, virus and worms, spyware, malware, backdoors, cookies, key logging, DOS attack, still so many of them. So many security threats are, but these are some of the mainly uh, main threats that are occurred while you are working on the uh, internet. Okay. So before going to explain all these different types of threat, I want to give uh, a little bit uh, information regarding the security threat. Actually, a computer uh, security or whatever I explain or the IT security. If you talk about your personal computer security or if you talk about the IT, IT security. So either your personal computer. Okay. Or IT security, which is a global demand. So everything, the computer security or your personal or the IT security, everything is a global demand to protect out computer system from malicious attackers from doing any damage to your hardware, software as well as the disruption of services provided. So that is a main uh, global demand. Nowadays, everyone is focusing on that. Not only uh, the IT organization, the personal computer systems or whatever the uh, different organizations, everyone is demand on the protection. Demand to protect. To protect what? To protect out the computer systems from malicious attackers. So many IT hackers will be there. So to protect our data, all these IT securities and organizations are concentrating on these security threats. Okay. So which are going to damage our hardware. It is going to damage our hardware, software and even also some disruptions will be occurring on the service provided. So the computer security involves controlling our physical access as well as protecting against the harms that occurs okay so it is what it is going to do mainly what is going it is going to do so it is going to what uh, controlling and physical access so whatever the physical access you are doing so it is keeping some concentration on the physical access as well as the protection against the harm suppose any of these attacks are coming it is going to work on against these harms so the how these uh, threats will occur how these threats will occur these threats will occur via network access obviously means uh, these attacks the security threat attacks will be occur via the network access or a data access Data access means suppose uh, while you're working on these uh, uh, pen drives or something like the email attachments, the data access or even the code injection also. Suppose if you want to some uh, install some softwares. Okay. So in that softwares, uh, a malicious uh, code that is which is going to harm your system that is going to be installed in your system and it, it, it attacks your uh, system as well as it steal your data and some some uh, some security threats will be concentrating on stealing of data and some security threats will be concentrating on uh, damage your hardware or software or some will be disruption of service provided like that each security threat will doing some different works so these all these attacks will be coming via network access or via data access or via from the code injection so what the attack attackers often think Let's let's have discuss about it. The attackers, whatever the attackers are there, the attackers often think ahead than a problem solver. Suppose you are the problem solver. You want to uh, maintain some uh, security, uh, avoid the security threats. So you want to uh, create a software which is going to protect your system. So obviously the attackers who are created these type of codes okay which is a malicious codes the malware functions okay the the malware code so these uh, attackers often think ahead than a problem solver so always keep in mind that they are frequently trying or using the different attacking techniques and methods okay suppose you have to think like that what do you have to think? Suppose if you are creating any software which is going to protect your data, you have to think ahead. 
than the attackers like you have to frequently trying or using the different attacking techniques so what are the different attacking techniques that are created so you have to concentrate on that and you have to think about the methods that we can be override that so the, there are several types of computer security type uh, threats in modern time okay uh, these are all the several types of computer security threats these are all the threats means these threats are going to damage your system okay in the modern time so the few of them are this and so we will discuss one by one uh in the next video okay uh so what this uh the threat is going to do how this thread is installed okay in your system so on using which software this thread will be installed in your system and what this thread will be do okay and finally we will see how we can uh, overcome these threats uh, in our system so that our data will be protected and our system will uh not disruptor of the services and it will not uh, damage to the information okay thank you